Hi, beautiful souls. Today, I speak about affirmations. The words we use send vibration frequency to the universe. And what comes back to you is whatever you put out there. Whatever you think, feel, comes back to you. Whoever you are, you attract the same thing. I'm going to tell you what works for me and for a lot of people that I have seen doing a lot of inner work, going through their shadow work, ego death, and facing their fears. So if we don't run away from our pain, we face it, we sit, we sit with it. If you have the courage and you learn how to sit with your pain, you also learn that every word that you say Every sentence that comes out of your mouth creates a space and creates actually your reality. It's huge. So, let me share. Because I see at the moment so much chaos. People are lost. People are angry. People are in fear and pain. They have huge amount of doubts. Victims. And that's all choice, okay? I'm not saying it's easy. No, it's not. But if you know it's not easy, you get up and do what is right. And no matter how many times it's hard, you know after hard comes easy and reward. So I want to speak about the words we use every day and affirmations. I first gonna give you a few of my affirmations that I'm using at the moment, but I actually have been using them for years. At the moment, I'm planting seeds into my mind to my subconscious. Why? Because the subconscious holds the codes and keys for creating your reality. Whatever you speak to yourself, you attract. I know it sounds simple. I know it sounds stupid, but it's actually what it is. You can't change it. It is what it is because we are vibrational, energetic beings. Whatever you put out there, the same will come back to you. So stop wondering why you attract the same friends, why you attract the same stories, the same uh, circumstances, and you speak about the same things in life. And nothing happens. Why? Because you live in the same copy and paste of behavior every single day. And you want to experience something new. You want to go to a new place. Who is responsible for that? Who takes accountability for those things? You. Why don't you do those things? Out of insecurities, out of not being worthy enough, out of fear, would I be able to afford it? Is it the right time? I'm gonna tell you one thing that I know from my experience. It's never the right time to do something you love doing. It's never the right time to jump and take a risk to the new, never. Therefore, if you do jump and do something new each day, start with something small. Go and give to the homeless something. Speak to them. Listen to them. Do something different that you don't do every day. Watch out what happens. Magic. Real magic. Only from experience. I wouldn't be able to tell you that if this wasn't true. And I can read hundreds of books. But unless I experience those things, I cannot share them from a place of love and from a place of joy. I become them because my stories no one can take away from me. Same for you. Through your life experience, we accumulate those. But if we run away from life experiences due to pain, insecurities, and worthiness, unworthiness, I'm sorry, we keep attracting the same negative situations or we simply live the same life that we always lived. Does that make sense? Okay, so here are a few affirmations you can use. Whichever sits with you, it's a choice again. My subconscious mind is my partner in success. Mm -hmm. My body contains divine wisdom to heal itself. I give permission to myself to succeed. Everything I put my mind into becomes reality. 
Oh, in life it comes to me with ease and joy and glory. Mm -hmm. And then planting positive thoughts, realistic ones, to your subconscious. My subconscious is now creating space for me to, and then you add whatever you want. Or my subconscious is bringing me the right people and circumstances to achieve, to create whatever you want. Then you continue with the sentence. My subconscious is now finding ways for me to stay fit, for example. Whatever you want to put there. My subconscious is now helping me be at peace and grounded. Again, it's your choice what you're going to add after my subconscious is now bringing me or my subconscious is now helping me become this or that. Or my subconscious is now helping me attract the right people for my projects. Whatever you want, make it your affirmation. And remember, while you sleep, while you do your daily activity, your subconscious is working for you. It's making things happen for you on the base of what you were saying. Now I'm going to show you how what we planned when we are in fear mode or in um, pain or negativity or insecurity, we speak this to our friends. When we say these things, we attract them again. So it's the same both ways either when you speak positively or when you speak with fear and negativity. For example, how many people you meet that they say, oh, again, this thing happened to me. Life is not working for me. I always attract those weird people or circumstances. I never have enough money to create what I want to create or blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's negativity. I won't even go there. Why? Because I don't talk to myself like this. And if I keep saying even now in this video my mind body and soul can feel the vibration of that and it's not comfortable you don't want to say these negative sentences words because again i go back to this frequency vibration whatever you think you attract whatever you feel you become choose Use the phrases for subconscious to plant where you're going and change something each day Brush your teeth with the other hand each morning, the opposite of the one you use every day. That's how we start to rewire our brain to do something different. Have an uncomfortable conversation with someone. Go and drive further away to just sit with a friend. Those little things will lead you to something new. And then have the clarity in your mind to say where you're going and what kind of people, circumstances, situations you would like to attract in your life or become more of or create in your body. So affirmations and my subconscious is now bringing me. My subconscious is now helping me, etc., etc., etc. That's your choice. Good luck.